we have seen the features of the economic planning in India till 1991. And here we are about to see the achievements of those goals. You will see how closely they are related, the achievements and the goals. The first achievement is increase in the national income. The national income of the country has increased at a very good speed. And if you remember, the first goal of the economic planning was, of course, growth in GDP and per capita GDP. So that per capita GDP has led to the second goal that is increase in the per capita income of the country. So the country has developed and even the individuals have had their share in the economic growth. So the first and the second goal that we have is related to the first and the second achievement that we have. The third achievement is rise in the rate of capital formation. There is a rise in the rate of capital formation and thanks to the goal of saving and investments. Because lot of importance was given to saving and investment to make the individual and the country rich, that is why there is a good rate of growth of the capital formation. The next achievement is institutional and technical changes in agriculture. That is to say the land holdings which were there, the ceilings were removed, the people who were intermediaries in between the government and the peasants were removed and also all such things which were given importance in the economic planning have given rise to a wonderful increase in the agricultural production. We have moved towards a green India. So a green revolution has given a growth to agriculture. And if you remember the first year, five year plans that we have, their goal was impetus on agriculture. The next we have growth of industry. The second five year plan goal was impetus on the industries. And here we have seen besides the heavy industries, small industries, cottage industries and also the small scale industries all have gained lots of importance and growth because of the goals and thus this is an achievement. India can also boast of good economic infrastructure. When we talk of the big highways, when we talk of the big roads, when we talk of super highways, all these are the results of the economic infrastructure that we have. And of course, the goals were there and that is why the achievements have come. Then we have the growth in the social infrastructure. That is to say, due to the better health and medical facilities, educational facilities, the average life expectancy of an Indian has risen and also the death rate has declined. Then the employment has been generated at a good speed because of the growth of industries, growth in agriculture and growth in the infrastructure, capital formation and so on. And the international trade has also seen a big rise. Before independence, there was hardly any trade of India with other countries but now there is a great trade going on between India and other countries of the world. So these are the achievements of the goals which the economic planning had set up before itself before 1991.